Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the best, tender, juicy, delicious oxtails. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so happy to see your smiling faces again. It is so good, and the meat just falls right off the bone. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process, and I'm going to take you through the entire process from the beginning to the end. So sit back and relax, and enjoy the video. If you love oxtails like I do, keep on watching. I'm going to show you how to do it just like this. Yeah, you're going to love it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're new here, my name is Jackie Cooks. I make simple, easy to follow cooking videos, tutorials, tips, and tricks. So if you want to level up your cooking skills, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Jackie Cooks. Now let's jump right into the video. This recipe is so amazing and I'm so happy to share it with you. Let's go. We're going to start off by smashing our garlic clove. We're going to place our knife over the clove and just tap it gently. Hey, where'd it go? <laughs> Whoops, garlic stuck to the knife. Let's try that again. Again, we're just going to place our knife over the garlic and we're going to tap it gently. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. It worked this time. We're going to smash this whole cluster of garlic at one time. And we're going to be using about four or five garlic cloves because I love garlic. Garlic adds so much flavor to any dish, and I believe there is no such thing as too much garlic. Look at all that garlic. Smells good, don't it? We have our garlic all minced up, so we're going to scrape it up with our magic garlic scraper, and we're going to place it in our dish. At this time, we're going to cut our onion in half, now we're going to slice it close to the root, but don't cut the root because it'll cause the onion to bleed and you will start crying. Now we're going to chop our onion up. Don't grab the Kleenex yet. Onions are an important aromatic and they go well with almost everything and they taste great. These three vibrant bell peppers are great. They are beautiful and they go with everything as well. Now we're going to slice our green bell pepper. Now we're going to slice our orange bell pepper. Now we're going to slice our yellow bell pepper. I like slicing, cutting, and dicing. It just seems like it makes my food taste so much better when I cut it myself. Bell peppers are one of the most versatile ingredients, and they are higher in vitamin C than most fruits. I've already washed and cleaned our oxtails very well. At this time, we're going to cut off all the fat. Most of the larger oxtails have fat. When you go to your butcher, you can have him trim the fat for you if you prefer. Also, you can have the butcher cut your oxtails uh, in half. You can cut those big ones in half. And you can also purchase the smaller oxtails, which has less fat. As mentioned previously, I did already wash the oxtails when I took them out the package, but I'm going to wash them again with vinegar and water. I promise you, you guys are going to love, love, love this recipe. And you're not going to want to share. So turn off your phone and lock your door. <laughs> Oxtails ain't cheap. I'm so happy to be sharing this recipe with you. Talk to me in the comments. Don't be shy. I always talk back. We're going to start off by transferring our oxtails into our other lime green bowl. 
And then we're going to go ahead and put our spices in. I have about four pounds of oxtails. We're going to be using three teaspoons of ground thyme. If you have fresh, use fresh. We're going to use three teaspoons of Creole seasoning, three teaspoons of Slap Your Mama seasoning, four teaspoons of smoked paprika. I did add in just a dash of nutmeg and just a dash of cayenne pepper. I don't know why I didn't put my gloves on. I guess I was so excited about getting started. But I will list all the ingredients in the description box. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to add about four tablespoons of browning sauce, which is a blend of caramel color, vegetable concentrate, and seasonings. It's going to add a rich flavor and dark color to our oxtails. We're going to rub that browning sauce and massage it into our meat very well. Look good, don't it? Look like barbecue. I have so many requests for this video. At this time, we're going to add in about four tablespoons of vegetable oil. And we're going to fry those oxtails. We're going to put a crispy coating on the outside. And what that does is it locks in all the seasonings and it locks in the juices and the flavor of those oxtails. You guys hear that sizzle? That means something good is about to happen. And that means that the pan is hot enough. So get ready. Y'all ready? For 2021, I want to do more healthy recipes and more kid-friendly recipes on my channel. What do you guys think? If you have any requests, please leave them in the comments below. I want to try and really, really push myself to do more videos every week. I want to grow my channel. I know I could do better. I want to try a couple of new things and see how it goes. What do you guys think I should do? I love to cook. I've always had a passion for cooking. When I was a little girl, I loved to cook and I love learning about all different kinds of foods. Today, I'm still in the kitchen and every chance I get, I cook. <laughs> I feel like 2020 was a nightmare and since this is a new year it's 2021 and it's only february i have set goals and i have a lot of goals that i want to reach if you have new goals list them below tell me about them i want to know you want to make sure that you put the crust on all sides of the oxtail when frying, you always want to use tongs. You never want to pierce your meat with a fork because that will allow your juice to escape and your meat will become dry. After we put that beautiful crust on all of our oxtails, we're going to begin to cook our vegetables. We're going to start off with our orange bell pepper. Next, we're going to add in our green Wait. bell pepper you guys see dom oh, no. he really he really head. wants to cook no. he loves yeah. to cook already and i'm gonna get him a chef's hat next we're gonna add in our one chopped onion and we're gonna add in our sliced yellow bell pepper oh my i wish you guys could smell this it is absolutely incredible I'm going to get up and get me a drink of water. I'm thirsty, guys. Excuse me for a minute. Okay, I'm back. I almost forgot to put in the sliced yellow bell pepper. Here we go. I feel better now. Had that water. It really helped. Bell pepper is one of those fruits that goes with absolutely everything. It is awesome. I used to work with this lady 
and she ate bell peppers like apples. She would just sit at her desk and just bite into it. I couldn't do that. I'm a wimp. <laughs> I can't eat bell peppers like that. Okay, guys. At this time, we're going to add in about one-fourth cup of tomato paste. Okay, guys. At this time, we're going to add in about one-fourth cup of port wine for added flavor. Also, when you have uh, crumbs or stuff stuck on your pan, the wine will remove everything. It's a cleanser. Adds so much flavor. It's just beautiful. Okay, now that we have that all mixed up, we're going to add in about 64 ounces or 2 quarts of beef stock. This is going to be the basis for our gravy. Now, you know the gravy is one of the most important parts of the oxtails. If your gravy is not right, you could forget it. <laughs> Okay, you want to stir that and mix it very well. Would you believe somebody told me in the comments that I say mix well way too much? <laughs> but you want to mix well, don't you? Don't you? Okay, all those oxtails that you put that beautiful crispy crust on, we're going to add that to our beef stock. You just going to put them all in there. I have about four pounds of oxtails. I'm going to tell y'all a little secret, but you can't tell nobody. I might eat this whole pot of oxtails by myself. I done locked the door and turn my phone off. <laughs> what do you think about that? We're going to add in our minced garlic, four to five cloves. The smell is driving me crazy, y'all. We're going to add in about four to five bay leaves. If you like this video so far, hit the like button. Talk to me in the comments. Don't be shy. I always talk back. Okay, you want to make sure you have everything mixed very well. And now we want to thicken our gravy. We're going to whisk two tablespoons of all-purpose flour into one-fourth cup of cold water until it's completely dissolved. And we're going to gradually mix that into our sauce. We're going to bring that to a boil, stirring occasionally, and then we're going to cook it for like three hours. Yeah! We want to mix that thickener in very well. The bay leaves add such a distinctive flavor, and the smell is incredible. If you're still here and you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Share it with your family. And there you have it. Delicious, tender, juicy, fall off the bone oxtails. Check out that gravy. Check out that gravy. Check out that gravy. Thick, full of so much flavor. Yummy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.